if we use our phone as a computer and think of it as made of layer, when you turn it off and it is on a black screen like that, you notice it doesn't do anything when it is turned off, right? And me as a user cannot use it for anything, it is turned off. However, it is made out of very sophisticated sensors. Uh, it has cameras, it has microphone, it has a lot of work that went into it. The discipline that makes this work is called computer engineer. And to be good in that discipline, you need to have cognitive abilities that usually materialize in subjects such as physics and, and uh, mathematics. Once you turn it on, it comes to a screen like that. In that screen, think of it as a virtual layer that sits on top of that hardware. You notice with that screen, it is actually functioning, right? Mm -hmm. It immediately, once you turn it on, it figures out where I am. Uh, this, the GPS sensors uh, knows where it is, it registers, it scans my environment, and if there's a wireless network, it connects to it. Um, my mom in Egypt, uh, <laughs> if she tags me in a picture, it comes and notifies me. But me as a user, if you notice, I haven't used it. I can be putting this on the table and it does all of this by itself. It is doing this because of that virtual layer. That virtual layer, we call it operating system and platforms layer. The discipline that makes that layer is called computer science. And to be good in the computer science discipline, similar to the computer engineering, it requires uh, or it relies on cognitive abilities, usually materialize in mathematics in particular. And if the computer science exists with engineering, they also ask for the physics. So far, me as a user haven't used it. If you start to use it, you'll have to choose what are you going to use it for. Maybe you're checking your sports, maybe you're checking the news, maybe you're checking your social media. You notice you have to choose a specific purpose, a specific application for a specific purpose. I call that the solution. So think of this as another layer on top. So we have three layers, the hardware, the operating system, and now there's a solution layer on top. That solution layer, that is information technology. So information technology is about building solutions that use the technology to make your and I life and work better and more effective. If you take all those three layers and put them in an organization, the organization will need to integrate it into their workflow. They need to manage all of these layers and these solutions. That's another discipline called information systems, usually exist in the college of business. So back to the information technology and those three layers. We said there's the hardware layer, there's the operating system, and then there's the solution layer. Now I want you to think of a vertical that goes across all those three layers. I call them domains. So cybersecurity, for instance, that's a domain. So you can find cybersecurity at the solution, you can find cybersecurity at the operating system, and cybersecurity at the hardware itself. Think of software development, that's another domain. Networking, that's another domain. Data technology, that's another domain. And there could be many more that we don't know about or will be uh, developed later on. To be successful in the solution layer, it's about three things. Hands-on technical skills, problem-solving skills, and communication skills. The key to success in information technology is the ability to master the technology, but also to understand people and understand the organization and be able to come up with a solution that makes the life better. And that's information technology.